We know about the Neanderthal admixture in Europeans and the Asians, but have you ever heard of Homo erectus admixture in Sub-Saharan Africans? Fifteen individuals from three Sub-Saharan populations, Saharavi, Pygmies and Hadza, were genetically tested. Their genome was compared to that of other human populations. Unique clusters of SNPs were used to identify archaic admixture in these hunter-gatherers. Something called the Summary Statistic S, which searches for clusters of population-specific SNPs, has previously been used to identify Neanderthal admixture in Europeans and Asians. This method has been used in the study as well. The TMRCA value in the study stands for the time of the most recent common ancestor. The mean TMRCA for all unique windows of SNPs 750k years. The study found a single 100kb window that is highly divergent in all three populations, located 41kb downstream of the PRDM5 gene involved in bone development, suggesting that each African hunter-gatherer population has been subject to different local selective pressures. Among the populations examined, pygmies had the most genetic variation. Hadza and Sandawi have less genetic variation. Overall, from 2 to 19% of the genome has been found to be of archaic origin. Whether the origin is Homo heidelbergensis or Homo erectus is hard to distinguish. Both Homo erectus and Homo heidelbergensis coexisted with sapiens. Fossil evidence of Homo erectus stretches over more than 1.5 million years, making it by far the longest surviving of all human relatives. Homo erectus appeared in Africa about 2 million years ago, evolving from either a late form of Australopithecus or one or more primitive forms of Homo, and went on to spread into many parts of Asia. Homo erectus most likely intermixed with humans. Homo erectus cranial capacity was about 550 to 1250 cubic centimeters. Homo erectus is named such for being the first human to walk on two legs. Homo heidelbergensis is, is an even more likely candidate for intermixing with Homo sapiens. Heidelbergensis discovered how to control fire by 790k years ago. Fire burnt tools and burnt wood were at the site of Gesher Benot ya Yaakov in Israel, associated with Heidelbergensis. One site in northern Spain dating to 400k years ago shows evidence of what may be human ritual. Scientists have found bones of roughly 30 Homo heidelbergensis individuals deliberately thrown inside a pit. The pit has been named Cima de los Huesos, Pit of Bones. Alongside the skeletal remains, scientists uncovered a single well-made symmetrical hand axe, illustrating the tool-making ability of Homo heidelbergensis.